perfect. I paint a perfect pencil. Gemini, what's up with you? If you're feeling about it, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to all of my new subs. We're going to do the energy oracle decks to set the tone, and then we're going to see what persons are a part of your narrative and then get further clarity through tarot. Oracle cards first. So we are angels of love and not hate. Thank God. It's hate out here. It's just crazy, crazy. Anybody home? Knock, knock. The victory lap completion. Eight, two is ten. Could be at the end of a karmic contract with somebody or somebody's patience. Did you get patience yesterday? Oh no, we're gonna see. I forgot. She forgot it. Broken heart. Oh. I just broken hearted. Ooh. I feel you. Let the sun shine in like a motherfucker. Deceit. Somebody lying, lying, boy. You don't know who, but I find out. It's a man holding a heart, though. So Y'all got real motherfuckers. And go and get fake motherfuckers. Door to romance. Okay, she gonna find out the real from the fake today. out here. Mercury, Virgo energy, or Gemini. Y'all breaking your own heart. Y'all aware of it too. Many thoughts about it. Many words. Communication. Analyzations. Let your mind tell you how to. So y'all know who y'all enemies is. And y'all know who y'all enemies ain't. Some of y'all got Virgos as enemies. Some of y'all are enemy to y'allself. Or some of y'all got Gemini enemies. Same time as y'all. Pisces, the deceit, Lord have mercy. These motherfuckers, these toxic Pisces need to go jump in the ocean. Prayerfully, they can't swim. Because they're popping out in everybody's fucking reading. And Sagittarius and Capricorn energies. Who wants y'all door to romance? Who is your daughter? A lot of Capricorns think they helping. Some Pisces ain't helping at all. Sagittarius, some are helping, and some ain't helping at all. Don't have from the smooth and dirty romance for Gemini. Come on. They in separation. They know who you are. Libra energy. Could be a Taurus too, because Libra and Taurus are run by the same planet, which is Venus. Relationships, the beauty of, do it with your partners, cooperation to perfect decisions about resulting from the fairness shown by. So some Libras have shown y'all fairness, but some Pisces is deceitful as a motherfucker. Just stirring up shit. And don't want to take self accountability. <clears throat> So hold as burdens and keeping y'all in the two of pentacles in decision. Yeah, they keep y'all broke too. I can't make no bread.
to the lines. Three of Cups. Some of y'all just go and listen to music or listen to music to get a peace of mind or some clarity. King of Swords, y'all energy, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. Some of y'all definitely dealing with a Libra or got a, a soul plan that's a Libra energy or a Taurus energy. Y'all may be coming to an end of a cycle with a Virgo energy, wrapping up karma a little. But it's definitely a King of Cups energy that's sneaky as a motherfucker. And y'all ancestors be all over it, seeing exactly, the, seeing who the fuck they is. They always conspiring with somebody, pulling somebody into their madness. Stay on that phone, lying. Do conferences like it's their job to fucking be a detractor. And keep up this. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all may have Virgos that's a spiritual, highly spiritual energy that know exactly what the fuck be going on. And it could be tied to you getting the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all got a broken heart about a Virgo. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords, your enemy, this Piscean energy. Especially, y'all may have found out a lot of shit during COVID. You see that doctor there with that mask on? That's Dr. Fauci, like, <laughs> mm, you high priestess energy. I mean, y'all dealing with a high priestess energy. Virgo or Libra or Cusper. Virgo, Libra, Cusper. Mm-hmm. Somebody standing between... Y'all getting a ten of pentacles and the romance that y'all want, the relationship that y'all want. And it's a Piscean energy. They don't necessarily have to be a Pisces sun. They got Pisces in a goddamn placement that's weird as fuck. Could be in the Venus. They just act like they love you, but you, they don't. They shapeshifters, so you can't get to drop on them. But they definitely are a shadow being. Keep you drinking like a motherfucker. It's going on all around the world. Same song with Tupac. All around the world, the same song. <laughs> we are dealing with an Aquarius energy. I'm telling y'all, it's a world problem and a cosmos problem. Doing all that matter, doing all that bullshit. It's fucked up when you get a motherfucker. And that's the Six of Swords. So they be trying to always, like, they peaceful, bring in the peace, but they be the main ones stirring up shit. But it's fucked up. They on three and a six. Some of them might have uh, March 6th birthdays, March 3rd birthdays, or March 9th birthdays. They are very intuitive. So it's kind of hard to get to drop on their ass because they always plan either victim or hero but they ain't either one they the ones that stirring up shit if you gain weight stand in a mirror a full length mirror naked and go on loving yourself when being patient let go of that what you're waiting on Strength. The moon. Shit is heading. Nano two. Nano three was on the clock. Y'all may have a Virgo energy that told y'all about this shit. Two voices. That's y'all. Gemini twin energy. Trying to move forward, but it's a Pisces blocking the fuck out of y'all. Or shape shifter ass energy. Yep, ten of materials in reverse. They come right up under the ten of pentacles. Upright. So they just trying to keep y'all from y'all destiny, y'all money, y'all uh birthright for real. <sighs> y'all thinking it's y'all and it ain't. Scorpio was having that same problem. Mm-hmm. Six of material, just a weird energy. I just feel like it's a weird energy y'all hang out with. That's a Piscean energy. They could even try to be like y'all, but they two-faced like a motherfucker. And they say y'all two-faced. But y'all know how to work with y'all two polarities because y'all was born y'all cut like that. It's not like y'all doing it 
you know what I'm saying, knowingly. It's just who you are. So when y'all gossip or talk about people, it ain't no harm in it. Y'all can come off as messy, but y'all ain't messy. Y'all be trying to get to the bottom of shit because y'all ruled by Mercury. And the less stress y'all got on y'all brain, the better y'all feel. So y'all be trying to get a drop on who the fuck is who. Y'all don't even give a fuck if it's y'all children. You trying to see who the fuck is your enemy and who ain't. Also, if you my enemy and I had you, I'm about to either give you up for adoption or give you over to your mother or father or somebody else because I ain't about to deal with this shit, can shit. Because they blocking your money center. And some of y'all are aware of it. Of who exactly who it is. It could be out of the signs that I said. And remember, the Pisces don't necessarily have to be a Pisces. But Pisces have been coming up in this reading a lot. And they are shapeshifters. When they negative with that shit, that shit is bad. Because they are, they are highly intuitive. So they can tap into different people. They don't know where you're going to be at. Like, how did I know they was here? So you be looking at them like, is this motherfucker a psychic on, in a good way? Or is this motherfucker using their intuition to fucking trap me further? You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are high priestess energies. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this shit. Who is blocking your money sector? And it ain't a Virgo. Y'all may think it's a Virgo, but it's not. It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn energy. But it's definitely not a Virgo that I'm picking up on. If y'all feel like it is because y'all was in a relationship with this energy, it could be y'all's children and not the Virgo. That's the Pisces. They could be around 12 years old, between the ages of 6 and 12. And they are demonic energy. They just eat. It. I'm sorry to inform you, but it's true. They keep you in a loop-de-loop. -loop. feel a bipolar. And the more y'all show love to them, the more they cut up. And some of y'all may have a baby with a Virgo energy. And they know there's something wrong with the child, too. Like a Damien kind of child. It's just off. They off. It could work. Maybe if you get in some form of therapy, some of y'all may have thought about it. But y'all really be trying to figure this motherfucker out. Whoever this Piscean energy is. And y'all really seen the mental illness in this motherfucker during COVID. Because everybody was in a quarantine situation. So he was kind of able to see people for who and what they was. So it be your own kids. Can the shit <laughs> for real. And y'all could think that a Virgo is your enemy, but they not. But y'all viewing it like that because it's somebody that's a Piscean energy that's obscuring y'all view of a Virgo energy. And both you and the Virgo are trying to get to the bottom of the analyzer because y'all both on Mercury. So trying to figure out who who is who and what is what. But y'all got motherfuckers in y'all camp that ain't shit. And they tied to your past. They tied to your pregnancy. They tied to your partner. Who y'all in separation from. And they just a two-faced motherfucker. They fork to them. They go here and say that, then go over there and say that. They'll say this to you, and then go to your enemies and say something to them, can the motherfuckers. Ain't shit. <laughs> ain't shit. Release your ex. Some of y'all got Virgos that are exes, but they ain't. Just release them. If you don't want them no more, because they, the, they not the issue. They really not. Take time to breathe out. Your dreams need a practical plan. And then it'll be at a full moon in Taurus or when the moon enters Taurus. So Taurus is definitely relevant. And it came up in the deceit column. But some of y'all may be getting deceived by a Taurus that got Pisces somewhere in their chart. Or a Pisces that got Taurus somewhere in their chart. And it's worth waiting for this information to see how it come out. Like just sit back and observe. And you can see everybody for exactly who they is. It's just like y'all got blinders on, but somebody wants y'all to be blind to their bullshit. Because y'all on their ass. You deserve dark no, you deserve love. You are lovable. Some of y'all tell this Pisces that. But they don't it's it's just never enough. It's never enough. You always saying you you deserve love, you are lovable, you try to appease to their emotional centers, but they something wrong with them. Mm-hmm. Look at the bigger picture. Some of y'all are really looking at a Gemini or a Virgo in the wrong way. 
when y'all really should be looking at a Pisces or a Taurus as the deceitful person that they really are. If they're your children, you may want to seek out some form of help, even medicine. The doctor is up here. Or you may be saying, should I get this motherfucker on medicine? They may need it to save their own soul, their own life. Knight of Raphael, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. So they romantic and they dramatic. Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make make your heart flutter. But the word flutter, a lot changed it to father. So it's something tied to your the father or your children or your father. But this person is dramatic as fuck. Y'all been thinking about this motherfucker heavily too, trying to get a drop on this motherfucker because they highly intuitive. So it's hard to get a drop off because they always changing and shifting and doing all kind of shit. We're like, what the fuck? A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So look at the next time the moon is in Cancer. It doesn't necessarily have to be a full moon, but resolutions will be coming to a personal issue. And this seems very personal. It's picking up children. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So there's definitely a message for y'all. Balance spirituality and practicality. Remember it says y'all need something more practical. Your dreams need a practical plan. Some of y'all can't focus because of a Piscean energy. They don't know how to balance their spirituality with practicality and it throws all in the tailspin. Full moon in Pisces. <sighs> positive thinking and faith will bring you romance right up under the romance card. So stay positive and optimistic and have faith about your love life. Because you deserve a little. Fuck what other people deserve. And it's a high priestess energy. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will follow. Put the past behind you. Ten of Michael. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours trying too hard to please others. Some of y'all trying to please this Pisces or Taurus energy. It's just not working. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So some of y'all children, they just have beef with y'all, but they won't have a good life until they forgive y'all for shit y'all ain't even doing. They just make up shit in their head that you're doing to them. Sometimes you can't give birth to your enemy. You really can. And you be second guessing yourself. It don't be you. It be the fact that you gave birth to your open enemy. And you got to figure out a practical plan to deal with their motherfucking ass because they blocking your money and they blocking your daughter romance. All right, Gemini, I pray this helps somebody. Love and light.